Why Mardle has uh, reached the final here in uh, years gone by, so too as Mark Dubridge. Can Mardle roll back the clock and put in uh, an A-game performance tonight? It's with Helen. How does it feel to be back here? You love this one, don't you? It's like being at home, honestly. This, 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 it's the World Championships, if you know what I mean. It rivals it, so uh, for yeah. me it's superb, superb. 2003, I think, was the last time you got all the way. And then I think the year after, you were knocked out first round by Mark Dubridge, who you're about to play tonight. That's right, yeah, he did. He, he done a job on me, but uh, last year or the year before, I'd done a job on him, so... Yes, that's right, one year later. So whose turn is it? Mine. <laughs> it's always mine. Right. Now, the one question I want to ask you, where is your darts head at the moment? Because I watched that match that you played against Barney in Vegas. You were hitting so many 180s. The look on your face was, what have I got to do here? Well, to be honest, I've had a, I've had a good six months, but a strange six months. Since the start of the year, I've been playing really well, but I haven't been winning an awful lot. I've been getting the last 16s, last eights of, of most tournaments. So uh, as performances go, I've been playing well, but I've just got to translate that into wins. So I'm quite happy with what I'm doing, but I've just got to win a few, that's all. All right, well, let's get the first round out of the way to start with. So best <laughs> oh, of luck, Thank Wayne. you. Thanks very much, Tiz. That's in good form, doesn't he? Uh, and a uh, lot of uh, Hawaiian shirts out there in the audience today. They love Wayne Mardle, uh, and he loves the Winter Gardens. He faces Mark Dubridge, a man, of course, on a high after putting out Phil Taylor in Vegas. Mark, I've just spoken to Wayne, and he says that uh, the way that you guys have played each other at this tournament, it's his turn to win tonight. Yeah, well, it could be if he plays well enough. I think that's, uh, that's the answer I can give to that. Um, obviously... We've had a couple of battles uh, before, and um, I'm sure it's going to be a battle tonight. But, um, yeah, if he thinks it's his turn, that's, that's good for him. <laughs> yeah, right. You're not going to take that. Um, now, there's a warm-up tournament on the Saturday when everybody gets here, the Bobby Bourne Memorial. The only player that didn't play in it yesterday was you. The reason you said you were saving yourself for tonight? Well, yeah, I was saving myself for tonight. I put, um, there's obviously a lot of importance on tonight's game. I'm trying to climb back up in the rankings. This is a major tournament, and to do well in this will move me up. Um, a hell of a lot further than the Bobby Bournemouth. So, you know, I weighed up my options and I felt that being fresh today was the best option. Players are ready. So are uh, 2,000 fans here in the Winter Gardens. Uh, let's get to game number two of the Stan James World Match Play up and running. RMC, John McDonnell. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the action here in Blackpool. It's the Stan James World play best of 19 legs time to meet the players would you please welcome from bristol it's flash mark Dudley. And now, ladies and gentlemen, from Essex, it's Hawaii 501, Wayne Well, it'd be a good final, this, wouldn't it? But uh, such is the quality of the dart circuit on Sky right now. These two head-to-head -head in the first round of the competition.
Wayne Mardle still looking for his first televised title. Finalist in Blackpool 2003, lost to Taylor. Take it on a man who's on a high after beating the aforementioned Phil Taylor in Vegas. Finalist in Blackpool in 2004. Will this one go to a tie break? Sid Waddell and John Gwynn. Yes, seems as though these two have been around in the PDC for donkey's years, but in actual fact, in 2003, these two made their respective debut uh, uh, on that uh, stage. Of course, Sir Wayne Marble, as it's been well chronicled, reaching the final. And this man, Mark Dudridge, actually making it 12 months later, but it seems incredible, Sid. These two certainly added to the quality by some way in the PDC ranks at the time, and there's been more additions since. A real high-quality tournament, this, with two great players on the stage now. 34 now, Y501 in his natural habitat. They've so under to those shirts here. Yeah. I washed mine and the arms fell off. But it only cost me three quid. And they both have been finalists here. Yeah. Remind you, Marvel. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. 18-12 lost to Taylor. Game on. Against Grandmaster Flash, Hodge from Vegas, where he pipped the power. Power only a 91 average in that match. But I uh, like that also, I mentioned the Bobby Bourne tournament, as you can see the Mardle fans, that he decided to miss out on the Bobby Bourne to concentrate on this one, John. I think that's maybe good thinking. 45. Yeah, only time will tell uh, as to whether that's uh, a policy that has worked. Uh, not many players, I have to say, would go along that route. They regard every tournament as important, but Mark is obviously, and quite, 100. Justifiably, as far as he's concerned, earmark this event, and already they're starting to dance in the aisles. Boogies can't split them. 85. Six on gets you five each man. I would just about agree with that. So would Professor Maverick John Gwynn, I reckon. Uh, what do you reckon, John? Are you that easily balanced equally? Yes, I do. Uh, you look at the two occasions they've 100. met here, and I know that uh, what has happened really has very little to offer in terms of uh, today's match. But uh, back in 2005, we 66. saw uh, Mardell beat uh, Mark Dudridge by 13 legs to 10. That was in the second round. The previous year, Dudridge had beaten Mardell 10-5. So on this very stage at the 60. moment, it's 2018 in Dudridge's favour. And I reckon that is going to be if you like, uh, just a little pointer as to how close this match five. might be. A little between them. Yeah, Mardle, good hammered by Barney 8 1 in Las Vegas the other week. We enjoyed commentating. But it was not a bigger hammering because he got a lot of 180s. And about seven 180s did Mardle. There, Barney was just going out beautifully on the doubles. So I'm with John there. I think this could be decided only with, what, one leg, two legs in it. Uh, could well go past the requisite 55. 19 legs. Mark, yeah, it was very interesting to uh, to listen to Wayne's interview earlier. He said he'd been playing well over the last six months, just hasn't been winning. Now then, he's looking for the ball, possibly. No, that's the 96. percentage uh, way to go, to leave double 16 and uh, put himself in an early lead if he gets it, Sid. 85. Here he comes, former world Mark master. That was the world master on his debut here with a different camp. Double 16 coming in. Yeah, no the first so the grandmaster.